Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we've got a really exciting car to show you. This is a 2017 BMW 435i, uh, sorry, 435D X Drive. It's the Grand Coupe, the four door version, with the M Sport um, kit and the M Performance body kit. The car's covered 42,000 miles with full service history. And we're going to take a look around the car because it's got some lovely options. So it's finished in Snapper Rocks Blue, which is a really striking colour. Take you around the front here. Got a very tiny little stone chip just on the edge where the grill is there. But the bonnet itself, a couple of very small chips there. You can see they've all been um, coloured with uh, matching touch-up paintwork. Just take you around the front. Now down at the bottom, we've got part of the M Performance body kit. Now this is a carbon splitter around the front of the car. Got the front fog lights, we've got front uh, parking sense, uh, sensors. Just come down and show you that. And then we've got carbon wing mirrors as well. Really nice features. And then down the side of the car, we've got these, um, uh, I forget what they call them now, but we've got the trims down the side of the car and also the transfer, the M Performance. Just come back here and show you. Really nice and all in nice condition. There's no, uh, no marks on it. The whole car has been detailed, machine polished. So a rotary polishing mop all over the car to bring up a really nice shine and take out any little minor scratches from people washing their car over with sponges. There's no bird dropping marks on the car or anything like that. Then we use another rotary polisher which also oscillates and that takes out any holograms. Now this car's also got the M624 20 inch alloy wheels. Now these wheels alone are about I think it's about three and a half to four thousand pounds. It's looking on BMW's website and the front splitter with the rear diffuser alone is about sixteen hundred and fifty pounds. There's, so there's, there's about five thousand pounds worth of bits and pieces. Plus you've got the wheels. If we look at the back here, we've got this diffuser at the back. We've got the carbon spoiler as well coming close see that lovely carbon spoiler see all the paintwork around the car is really nice it's a really striking car i can't really back up any more than this because there's a wall there but i'll come around we've got some protection glass as well let's come around all of the alloys all lovely got the m sport brakes little lights under the door handles as well in case i didn't show you this front alloy just show you that one i'll just come back out now now this color as i say it's called snapper rocks blue it's well worth googling the color because quite often on the camera and in the photos it looks bluer but it's, it's a really striking colour, so you do need to Google that colour, Snapper Rocks Blue, and you'll find some pictures that will show the colour where some professional photographer has uh, managed to change the hue to get it to show correctly. Now inside we've got the black Dakota leather, brushed aluminium door trims, and the black gloss finisher along the top. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system, all the door sills down here are lovely. Electric passenger seat. We've got electric driver's seat with memory as well. And you've got the electric uh, bolsters on there as well. So that little rocker button blows up either side of the seat here. Just show you all the seat. Brushed aluminium continues. Then we've got the professional media. Pretty sure this one's touch screen, but we'll come in to the car in a minute and have a look. And I'll let you know if it is or it isn't. We've got high beam assist as well. 
The high beam assist will automatically dip the headlights for you when a car comes from the opposite direction. There's a little camera up at the front here, just see in there. As I say, all that roof is lovely. Take a look in this rear door. I'll just show you the edge there. And then the door card. So I have two detailers here, Dan and Peters, and basically Dan focuses on the outside of the car and Peters face, uh, focuses on the inside of the car. And if you just look, these cars are cleaned within an inch of their lives. Even if you look up under there, look how clean it is. And all the shuts. When you're spending a lot of money on a car, you wanna make sure you're buying a car in the best condition that you can, that someone's looked after. This car's got full service history. All our cars go to our local BMW specialist, occasionally to the main dealer as well, depending on the age of the car. Just shut that rear door. Just gonna let you look down like so. Just try and capture it from another angle because I'm gonna run out of time for pictures today, I believe. We've had a few click and collects today, so look at that. What a lovely looking car. So we've got electric tailgate. So all the boot is in beautiful condition. And all along here, now there's a very small, just a little impression on the bumper just here. It hasn't broken the paint. Now I have booked it in this week to have that sorted out. So it's very minor, but I'm a bit fussy. So that will be sorted. Can you just see it? It's just like something's rested on it, but we'll, um, we'll have that sorted this week. Peter's just started the car for me. Let's take a look under here. See how nice and clean the car is inside. Everything is cleaned really, really thoroughly. And we've been using um, a steam cleaner for the inside, not a jet wash steam cleaner, an actual steamer for cleaning, you know, things around your house, etc. And we find it works really well on the inside of the cars. And also it makes them very hygienic given the current situation. We've also got uh, antibacterial bombs that we flushed through the air conditioning system. We've got auto gleam sprays as well. So we're being really, really thorough. So if you're nervous about a click and collect, please don't be frightened to pick up the phone and speak to me. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions or your concerns. All the cars are also being test driven on the motorway by us to make sure that there's no wheel balance wrong or anything like that. Again, given the current situation with, you know, you're not meant to be test driving cars. I know some dealers have been and they shouldn't be. So bear that in mind. We've got speed limiter, cruise control, voice control, and uh, also lights there. I'm gonna jump into the car maybe not jump but I'm in right so what I wanted to find out so does it have the touchscreen now no so this one isn't touchscreen this one works all off of the iDrive and uh, that's the iDrive wheel down here with shortcut buttons around it you can turn the wheel use it as a rocker and you can write on the top now if you press the menu button more than once you can see that it'll change the views. You've got all your, uh, sorry, sat nav. Uh, in fact, you can shortcut straight to the maps in fairness. And quite often I like to show some of the things you can do. You've got all these sub menus. There's a lot more information in the uh, professional media. And uh, these are some of the things people don't always realize you can do. You can save with the buttons down there, the number buttons not just radio stations but telephone numbers and even the views so rather than having to go in here and look for the view 
uh, direction of travel, which is the one that looks down. You can save that on number seven. And then rather than go into that menu, you can just press number eight to change it and so forth. We've got uh, heated seats, dual climate control. This is the, the facelift with the sliding cup holder at the front is one of the features that changed. Um, if we go back in here, uh, we've got all your media. There's a hard drive in here as well, which is called the music collection. You can download all your music. I think it's got about an 80 gig hard drive. Um, you can see that Dan obviously did the test drive because he's connected his phone up. We've got the Harman Kardon uh, Logic 7 surround sound and the graphic equaliser there. Okay, so it's come out of there. If we go back into menu, uh, that's your communication, so we won't need that. Connective drive, this is where you can um, sign up for a few things with BMW and it'll show you various different apps in here that you can use. My vehicle, this is where all your settings are. Um, you can see the sub menus coming up on the right hand side. And if you come down to things like technology, in action, this is where you can get all your sport displays, or well, one of the places you can bring this up. Um, if we come out of here, go to vehicle status, this is where it will show you the tyre pressures once you're out on the road. Uh, you can check your oil level, etc. Your service items are in here as well. They're also held on the BMW database. Um, so this has had the PDI inspection, and then this will be a um, engine oil and this is due to go in for another service I believe unless we've got a separate service um, that we might have on paper so we're going to be checking the front brake pads it shows you down there 3200 miles remaining so there's a good chance I think they'll be getting changed so that will all be done this week uh, brake fluid not due for another two years engine oil that looks like that's been done recently so maybe there is another service receipt that we didn't have in the iDrive rear brake pads 20,000 miles and then the vehicle check is there so that will all be checked out when it goes in to have its inspection and uh, up on here we've got different modes so we can bring up the um, dab stations or the uh, music that you've downloaded into the car and when you press on the phone button, it'll bring up the last old numbers down there as well. Let's just turn the lighting up on here a little bit. We've got auto lights down here as well. We've got the paddle shift. Um, this is where we use the high beam uh, assist, this one. And uh, like I say, it'll automatically dip the headlights for you. That's a nice feature. And then down here, we've got our driving mode. So if we come back up to the iDrive screen, Eco Pro basically changes the ECU, um, the computer that runs the engine, uh, to make a, a, a much more e economic drive, basically. So not using all of the power, and um, it's basically for uh, efficiency, etc. If we go into comfort, that's like a medium setting for normal. And then you've got the sport setting where it'll change down gears a little bit earlier, hold on to each gear a bit longer, a bit more response from the throttle on the accelerator, etc. Um, again, you can access the, the um, sport displays and you can configure the drive chain in here, etc. If we come out of there and we can go back to here, and then we've got Sport Plus, which turns off part of the traction control. There are two traction controls on the BMWs. Um, one is called and I'll just show, DSC, Dynamic Stability Control, and the other one is DTC, Dynamic Traction Control. So when you're in sport mode, it takes off the DTC. If you press and hold the button here, the traction light, you'll see down where it says sport there, DSC off. So that's both lots of traction control turned off. And remember, this is, um, four-wheel drive this car as soon as you um, accelerate hard or go onto a slippery surface it engages four-wheel drive so you get really good traction um, even with the um, drive rates turned off all the books are in there got a nice armrest here 
that has put the key in there. I think there's a USB. There's the USB under there. And uh, that's a sliding armrest as well. That's another option. Now, just take a look under the bonnet. There's two pulls for the bonnet. So the other thing I wanted to mention is the Auto Trader pricing thing that comes up. Now, the way that works is Auto Trader have developed an algorithm to price the cars, but it's all based off of the cars that are advertised on there. And quite often with different makes and models, there'll be features or bits on cars that you can't list through Auto Trader that generate more value to the car. So it plays havoc with those little uh, low price and fair price, good price, great price and high price banners that you see. So quite often they're not correct. So like a car like this that's got thousands of pounds worth of uh, accessories on it, but we can't include them on there other than to freehand write them. So you have to ignore some of that. all lovely and clean under there all done um, by hand by the guys we use a lot of wd-40 as a cleaning product under there we don't like to get the engine bays too wet we do steam clean around the edges after we've hoovered out any leaves and bits and pieces but there's a lot of care that goes into preparing these cars like this and a lot of time as well I spend over a day quite often on a car like this to make sure it's come up really nice and then obviously before we do these videos they have to just go around them again and just make sure that they're nice and clean for the video well look thank you very much for watching and taking the time to look at the video as I say please pick up the phone and uh, if you've got any questions I'll be happy to answer them it's a cracking looking car that, really beautiful. Okay, thank you very much, take care, bye.